Welcome to DTV. I'm here with Jack Trengrove, who made history on the weekend when he became the youngest captain in the AFL to captain the side. Jack, um, despite the scoreboard, how was your first experience as captain? Yeah, I was uh, pretty nervous again running out. It was like playing my first game all yeah. over again and um, leading the boys out. But yeah, it was a great experience despite the um, big loss. And even though we did lose by a big margin, we still learn a lot from it. So hopefully we can take that into round one. Excellent. I can imagine it would always be challenging in the rooms post-game when you do lose. How has your role changed post-game as captain? Yeah, look, I, could, I don't know, it's changed a little bit. There's a bit more responsibility there to give feedback to some of the other boys in various different areas. But um, no, after the game, we pretty much just sat in and listened to what Neil had to say. And then it's just important we all took as much out of that as we could and um, yeah, I suppose learn from it and take it into training this week and then this Friday night over in Adelaide against Port. Excellent. And your, it was your first game back from injury with a leg injury. How did you pull up? Yeah, really well. So um, I was you know, a bit sore over the last couple of weeks, which is, um, yeah, meaning that I had to sit and watch on the sidelines, which isn't much fun, but no, I've pulled up really well, so hopefully you won't have any issues anymore. Excellent. Now, as you said, over to Adelaide this week, back to your home state of South Australia. Yeah. Have they got anything planned for the Golden Boy returning? Nah, nothing like that. <laughs> um, I think Mum might be a bit excited, but that's about it. We have a chance to catch up with family and friends? Yeah, I think we head over Thursday lunchtime and don't play till Friday night, so there'll be a bit of time there probably to catch up with Mum for a coffee or something like that and the rest of the family. Excellent. And speaking of family and friends, your sister Jess has just qualified to run the marathon in the 2012 Olympics. Very exciting. Yeah, and I'm um, pretty pumped for her. She uh, wasn't expecting too much going into it and Ended up running a yeah, Olympic A qualifying time, which she's pretty pumped about. So she's not officially in the team yet, but um, her, she's done herself every chance to get in there. So fingers crossed for her, and she'll be running over in London in August. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. Now you've got the um, the Irish Guernsey on here. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. So um, obviously it's St Patrick's Day this weekend, so the Dees are just showing their Irish sort of heritage and. Um, we're going to wear these for our main training session today and we're not going to play in them, but they'll be auctioned off um, this weekend sometime, I believe. And yeah, just showing a bit of our Irish culture within the club. Yeah, excellent. Well, all the best for the weekend. Enjoy your return to Adelaide and we look forward to seeing you throughout the season. Thanks for that. Cheers.